Hi everyone, this is Mr. Neil Reiterter, Consultant Audiologist and Director of Clearwax. Thank you for joining me in another demonstration video of our recently developed wax scope, which is due to be launched in early January 2023. There has been a slight delay, but we've been reassured things are looking good for the new year. Um, so you may notice that clip there wasn't actually taken with the wax scope. It was taken with the iClearscope Endoscope, which is our flagship product and which is still available. And I've also slowed the clip down. And the reason for that is that I feel it gives you a good perspective of um, this patient's ear canal anatomy. So in particular, this, the left ear, which is very narrow and bendy. I've now reverted to the wax scope and I initially uh, affixed the 4.25 millimeter speculum, which was slightly large for this patient's ear, given that they've got quite a narrow bendy ear canal. So I've just exchanged that for our smaller speculum size, which is a 3.5 millimeter. And you can see that the speculum fits perfectly inside this patient's narrow ear and I've then rotated the speculum to stretch and straighten the patient's ear canal. And this wax, which has been softened with drops prior to uh, the patient attending, patient I do some olive oil spray. Um, it was impacted on the eardrum, so we're quite medial there. There's just some residual wax at the entrance of the ear, so I'm just getting that in focus. You can see how quickly I'm able to do that. And in a moment now, we're going to re-enter the ear, and once more, you can see I'm going to stretch the ear and straighten it. And I'm actually going to just going a bit further, because as I said, it's quite a bendy ear canal. I'm going to just stretch it a bit more and you can see the full tympanic membrane now. I'm just going to get it in focus. So you can see the blood vessels has just become uh, more visible. So possibly a slight tympanic retraction there. And uh, we're now going to the patient's right ear. So once more, I'm using our smaller speculum. So this is the smallest size and it's going to be used for patients with narrow bendy ear canals and also paediatric patients. The 4.25 millimeter speculum I feel is going to be the most commonly used one. It's the one that I use most commonly in my clinic. Um, then we've got a larger one, a 5 millimeter for slightly larger ears, and also a 5.75 millimeter for your uh, abnormally large ear canals, so mastoid cavities, for example. This wax is a bit denser. And uh, I've just installed some olive oil spray myself just to loosen it a little. And you can see the technique I'm adopting here. I'm using the, the, the micro suction probe just to detach and loosen the wax plug off the canal wall. And here it's actually lodged beyond the isthmus. So the isthmus is, a, there's two isthmuses. An isthmus is um, a narrowing of the ear canal, uh, a narrowing of any part of the body actually. That's the medical um, definition of an isthmus. But in, within the ear, you have an isthmus between the first and second bend. And also around half a centimetre away from the eardrum, the ear canal narrows and expands and widens again. So I'm just trying to wriggle this through. Um, so these are the ears I feel people would have normally struggled, um, especially during our training courses, with an endoscope when you've got a, a narrow and bendy ear canal. And that's because with an endoscope, there's no speculum attachment. So you're having to rely on your ability to stretch and straighten the ear canal using the endoscope. If you don't stretch and straighten the ear canal with the endoscope um, and you attempt to perform endoscopic earwax removal, what will happen is that your hands will cross over as you're trying to insert the instrument and the endoscope simultaneously into the ear. So you do have to stretch the ear first with the endoscope and then introduce um, the instrument uh, into the ear. So um, it, it's a bit of a technique. Um, hence why we've developed the wax scope because we feel it's more user friendly but of course if you are able to use the endoscope um, there's nothing really that can compete with the optics with an endoscope but the wax scope I feel is the next best alternative um, the view I would compare to uh, at least the ENT operating microscope that I have in my clinic um, for the purposes of ear wax removal the middle ear surgery is completely different of course uh, Again, I hope you enjoyed that video, and if you are interested in the Waxgate, please do feel free to email us at info at clearwax.co.uk. Thank you. Bye.